Hi, Sam Miller here again for Having Your Help. Today I'd like to talk to you about an issue that's come up a couple different times and in, even for Sean Stepinski and I has been really kind of hard to wrap our heads around using the service manual as a guide. It just really doesn't seem quite clear with what we're talking about. So I'm going to show you today about the wiring for the electric strip heaters in the ductless product. Now these strip heaters are different from the KFC heaters that were used to be put in our unitary products, our normal FE, FB, FV air handlers. With those, when we plug the plug from the heater into the plug for the air handler, we tie those powers together. But on the ductless systems, 40 MUAA or 40 MBAB ducted ductless systems, a little bit different hookup. So let me show you what's going on. Here today we have the 40 MUAA air handler. And you can see as it comes originally, there's a plate with a place to hook your power up to. And you can see that it's hooked to L1, L2, and ground. So when we put the heater in, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the uh, connector. I've already loosened up some screws here so I can do this quickly. We're going to take this out. This gets thrown away. Now, remember, that power powered the air handler, the motor and the board, okay? With the new air handler, or with the new electric heater, sorry, we're going to slide this in. It's going to sit somewhat in that position. This plug is the power plug. And if we notice, it's a little bit different. It's got three wires instead of two. Not a problem. What that is, this heater, like I said earlier, works with both the 40 MBAB and the 40 MUAA. The 40 MUAA does not use the S communication wire between the indoor and outdoor unit. It uses a different communication wire. If we use this heater on the 40 MBAB, that yellow wire is used. It is our S connection. Now, that plug goes right back up into the same place that it did on the heater removed. And it's one way, we can only put it in one way, okay? Now, if you look, this new heater block has a place for ground. We're going to hook power up on L1, L2. We're not going to put anything on S because we didn't have anything on S on our original block. We're going to hook what was hooked to the ground to one of our ground lugs. Our other incoming power for the electric strip heat ties on to the breaker contact as, ne as we normally did. Difference being, this takes separate power for the air handler here and the electric strip heat here. Let me go one step further. This is a small electric heater. It's only got one element and you can't pull it out if it's still plugged in. You can see it's only got one element. If I had a 15 or 20 kW heater, there would actually be two breakers here. The 25 kW heater has three circuit breakers here. Okay, So they each would take their own power. So on the 25 kW, that would mean 230 volts, for one circuit breaker, 230 volts for a second circuit breaker, 230 volts for a third circuit breaker, and 230 volts to control or for the fan coil itself. 
four 230 volt circuits. Plus, you'd also need the circuit for the outdoor unit, a separate circuit. So with a 25 kW heater, you'd need five circuits to install this per the manual, okay? The biggest concern has been this plug. On the 40 MUAA, what happened to the yellow wire? It's okay, leave it in place. There's nothing connected to it up here when we plug it in. But you do need that if we're installing this in the 40 MBAB. I hope this clears up some information so that wiring the electric heater on the ducted, ductless systems clears you up a little bit. Thank you. Like and subscribe to Habiger Help. We'll catch you later.